everyone welcome back to another episode of cardwell farms um this one's going to be kind of short i just wanted to touch base on how to collect lettuce seed um we have some freckled lettuce that we grew that did really really well in our sandy texas weather and um i just want to show you all what it looks like when it starts going to seed and I want to let y'all know what to do whenever it does go to seed, how long you should leave it, um, and kind of those steps. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show y'all the lettuce. Here is the freckled lettuce. Now, it was way shorter. You can go back in some of our other videos and you'll be able to see. But these, we're letting go to seed. And if you see that, they have these pods all coming out of the top and if you look here if I can get that to focus well let's try this one okay you see this it is a bloom fixing to open up and when the blooms open up, after the bees come and pollinate, which we have that board right there that'll help out, um, the flowers will close back up and you leave them for a little longer. And uh, the seeds will form inside the flower heads. And you'll just pluck the flower heads after they've completely dried. Or at least until you're sure that they're seeds. And if you're not sure, pick off a bloom open it up, see if there's any seeds in there, if they're dry, um, and then you should just, if they're not completely dry, but they're fully formed, you should just be able to um, pull them out and lay them on like a paper towel or something like that in a ventilated area, and they should continue drying. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you all this and uh, give you all some tips on collecting lettuce seed and uh we'll see y'all next time thanks for joining us bye